Hi again, Andy with HandyAndyHome.com and welcome back to another quick run through on uh, one of our clients' homes. And, and the thing about this particular project is these folks are super conscientious about their house. They've paid good money to maintain it. They've paid for hand painting on this house. They swear it's been hand painted. It, it hasn't been hand painted. I mean, it may have at some point, but when I'm seeing this last go around on the siding, it wasn't hand painted. So, but even having done that, because some of the repairs were done, they weren't done right. We're gonna walk you through some basic stuff, but there's rot at different parts of this house all over this house. There's probably 20 to 23, 24 different places of rot on the house. And we'll go around in different things and, you're, and you'll see these things over and over again. We do the videos for the customers. We do them for potential customers like yourself viewing this video or maybe contractors to people in other parts of the country that are looking at our stuff. Um, we're in Metro Atlanta and it's really hard to get good contractors here. There's a lot of people who do what we do there's not many people that hand paint anymore. We paint very few houses because we only hand paint, which means you're paying us more money to do it, but it's a 10 or 15 year paint job. Uh, and so it is what it is. We do tons of carpentry and the things you'll see on this house are typical of so many of them. If you look right here in this corner, and we're trying to get in here before it rains. We had some weird weather lately. That triangle right there is what we call a dog ear. And you'll see that, that black shade between the fascia board. If you go up the upper edge of that triangle right up in here, you'll see where the caulk has failed. It failed a long time ago. Well, you'll notice about these dog ears, you can't see it real well, but the lower triangle, if you come down about two inches off that bottom corner right in here, you'll see another line. And so rather than using a cut down one by 12, <clears throat> they put two pieces of, of one by six, one by eight together and glued them and nailed them. Well, now you got three joints there instead of one and, and it's rotted out. So it's rotted the fascia board in the corner right here, in this corner right here. And this dog ear is rotted, so we'll end up replacing that dog ear as well. And all the way around as you go around the house, you're gonna find all kinds of rot on the house. This stuff right here, we get a lot of this, and for those of you that have little metal mansard roofs like this over your bay windows, they're great. Keep them painted like they have here, but you see the, the paint is shedding right here. They thought it was rot, but it's actually water getting behind. The crown molding up underneath has rotted right here. And the reason for it, I don't know if you can see it in the video very well, but the bottom edge of this mansard roof has a gap in it. Now see, you see the rotted wood, you can't see the gap real well. So what they did, I actually can see it in this corner right here, if I can get in there for you. See right in there? See that black line? It was never caulked or sealed, and, and you can see the split in the fascia where it's starting to rot now on this, on this top piece. But because it caulked the bottom edge of this thing, you can see it even more clearly over here on this side. They've done some work right in here. They need to caulk and seal that bottom edge. Capillary action sucks a little bit of this water back every time it rains. So a little bit, most of the water comes off the face of the mansard roof and sheds to the front of the house. The rest of it is, is going up underneath and rotting out that crown and that's what's happening there. So we'll replace the rotted crown, seal it up. You've got the same thing here, this dog here on the left front corner uh, to that little bump out is rotted. And you can see where the last time somebody put some putty in there. Don't put putty on stuff. We get arguments on this stuff all the bloody time and I'm so sick of it. Don't ever use putty. It's a quick fix if that's what you want to do. We'll show you some stuff on this house. This nose right here is just starting to rot and you can see it's finger jointed. Now this trim was hand painted. You can see the brush strokes in it. The siding was not hand painted. They sprayed it. So I think they picked up brushes when the homeowner was here and then as soon as they left, they went back to spraying and get out of here. There's a little bit of rot all the way around. So on the, on the front of the house here, uh, we're in pretty good shape. Now what this customer wants is they want us to paint these underlying windows. So we're actually gonna remove the storm windows here, label them, stack them in the back. Uh, and come back and reinstall as we paint the windows and get them squared away. Now we may find some more rot as we go through this project. It's typical that we do that on houses. Our boys are all over this house. We've got master carpenters on staff. And you can see again on this right, far right front corner fascia, which is that edge piece up top here. And then you've got the dog ear. See the rot in the corners right here? And you can see the rot here as well. So you're gonna find a whole bunch of pieces around here as we go through. This is a Masonite siding or a Georgia Pacific siding. It's not inherently defective as everybody says. This corner's never been filled and caulked as it should have been on this corner board here. But as you come down the siding, uh, you'll see the thicknesses are pretty tight. So as you look at the bottom edges, the framing, you'll see a wave. That's the framing, it's not the siding. But then you're gonna come across stuff like this where caulk has failed. And you can see here's, before I put a hole through here, it looked good. And this is the trick of this stuff because you'll have to look at one of our other videos, but when we pull this off and you'll see it, we'll do a follow-up video to this house so you can see what we're doing. But this brick mold behind here was never back prime. So the bottom edge underneath here 
and the back behind here has never been primed and sealed. So as it got moisture from failed caulk, as it got moisture from the storm windows, because the storm windows were never caulked, which is fine. You don't want to make it too airtight. But the water got behind here. If this had been back primed, it would have just shed to the front and never rotted this out. So we've got rot in all kinds of places on this house. You'll see right here this brick mold at the master bathroom window right here. The nose is surprisingly still good, but this the brick mold is shot. And again, what we love about our business is all connected dots. If this caulk hadn't failed, it'd still be good. Now here's a jack leg repair where somebody came in here. They're different thicknesses. This is hardy plank, this little piece right here that you can see right here. Uh, and then the rest of this is Georgia Pacific. So the Georgia Pacific is thicker than the hardy plank. You don't see it quite as well in, in the picture here because what they did is they jacked the board out a little bit so there's a gap up underneath it. You can't see it in the video. But we'll actually remove this piece. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to have to replace some siding. When you start to see this kind of stuff right here, <coughs> see the indentation here? It looks like a wrinkle. It's real soft like your skin. This siding has seven layers of cardboard. It's not wood, it's cardboard. And so when it gets like that, it, because the bottom edge wasn't hand painted, it absorbed water and now it's rotted. So you can't just piece in. So we'll replace this entire row and then we'll take a piece down that. That section right there is still in good shape and we'll feather it in down here so you won't see the repair anymore. We've got another issue on this house right above the window right here. You can't see it in the picture as well, but that whole row of siding is rotted. So we'll have to replace a couple of rows here. We've got a little bit of repair. And this is, a, again, an example of wrinkling. We're on the right side, the second story window. I'm going to zoom in on it so you can see it and get a better feel for it if the camera. See that corner right there? You know, it'll make you dizzy like Private Ryan. See how wrinkled that wood is right there on the corner, right there? Left side to the bottom. That, that lets you know from the ground that it's rotted out. So we're going to have to replace the nose all the way across and piece in that left brick mold. And part of what's going on with this house, and there's actually a piece of siding to the left of it that's rotted as well. What's going on with this house, there's so many of them here in Atlanta. If you check out the flashing above this window, this is endemic of everything on the house. See how it's cut short? It's actually cut inside the brick mold. So any water that gets in here is getting behind here and coming down through here and rotting the siding as well. So where we're ever replacing a piece of siding above the window or we're replacing uh, the top brick mold, we'll try to reflash those where we can. It's cost prohibitive to try and do that on the whole house. But they've got a bunch of rot all over this house and it, and it just saddens me because we go to a lot of homes and they've just had yucky contractors or they've been real cheap in terms of what they've been doing on the house. So they get, get what they paid for. These people have done the exact opposite. They've paid through the nose to maintain this house and uh, it, it just didn't work out for them. We're at the right side on the right side corner of the house and again you can see the brick mold right here is rotted through totally through uh, so we'll go ahead and fix that we're going to have a bunch of rot back here and, and here's an example where somebody puttied this right here this was puttied previously it's not going to come out real well in the in the video but that's putty right there and it's rotted through this center right here looked perfect this center looked perfect till i touched it the other day and and you can see my hands going right through it so repair the center, repair the nose on that window. The chimney is, is another one of those guys. And almost every window, see this window to the left of the fireplace, both brick molds are rotted. And before we touch them, they look great. So you got to kind of probe this stuff and see what you're looking at. The chimney is an example of someone who, it, they made an angle cut repair here at one point in time on the corner board. And then you come up, they got a rot, piece of rot in the center right there. And you go all the way up to the top up there, and the sun's going to be in this video, so I apologize for it. But when you get up there, I can't even see it in the sun. But right in that section right there, they made a horizontal cut, and so it rotted the wood above, and it rotted the wood below. So we'll run a new corner board all the way down here, so we just have one joint to contend with. And this isn't a very good angle joint here anyway. The siding may be a little bit harder to see, but we got a lot of rotted siding on this chimney. You can see where they've paid people. This is hardy plank right here. But you see the stuff that people do? You know, and they paid somebody to fix this railing. Look at the railing. Isn't that crazy? <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome to Atlanta. You know, lots of ballers in Atlanta, a lot of pretenders. Now, you see it a little bit better on here. See if I can get this camera up in here. See how the, the siding gets real thick up in here? And you'll see the mold up underneath it and the fungus up underneath it. So we're replacing 14 pieces on this side, 13 on the other side. The face is fine. These windows, the same thing. See the right side right here? This is the to the left of the rear deck door. 
that right mold is rotted out this is the double window here and you can see I'm not gonna punch it all through but here's a repair that was done last year and see how they they just bonded this over this is putty all you guys see this online I'll fix your rotted wood with putty the painters do this because they don't have the skills to do it right so now what it's done is yeah that putty stayed in there it's rotted from behind now and now you can see my pushing my finger in now the nose is rotted out and it's because they didn't fix it right the first time when you go down around the back here so a lot of these houses we get to we spend half our time undoing what somebody else did that's part of it the other part of it is most customers don't know what they're paying for so they always go with the cheapest guy some are a little smarter go with the second cheapest guy well you know what there's nothing wrong with getting three or four bids and stuff but i'm probably like a lot of my customers i don't mind paying for something i just want it done right and i want a warranty so all this work will have a three-year warranty on it the paint job will have a 10-year warranty on it fully transferable lifetime warranty for the time of ownership so 10 years transferable lifetime of ownership that's what a 10-year paint job gets you at our company but we only hand paint we'll spray some of the siding if you want um, but we do what we do for a reason for the basement right side to the rear here's here's another example of the wrinkling that goes on with rotted wood so if you see this on your house you just know it's rotted out see all that right there same thing over here on the left sometimes we can piece in these noses we don't like to because the problem with this stuff is it was never back prime so you'd rather pull it out back prime the new piece put it in and then we know it's good and we don't have to worry about it be troubled by it again look for this kind of stuff on your house um, you've got wrinkling in this window here at the second story you got the third story up there which is really the second story of the house if i can get in on it see all that rot right there and don't let these guys if you got masonite siding manufacturer siding don't let them get out here with a gas powered 3500 psi pressure washer get a little electric unit hand scrub it light pressure rinse otherwise all you're doing is ejecting water into the house the last painters that were here caused this rot uh, the homeowner said that the, after the painters pressure washer was nothing but water inside the house they had to repaint the room <coughs> it's just too much too much pressure we're at the basement the right side corner here this piece here before I touched it the other day it looked good you put your finger right through it in fact you can see see the face of it how solid it looks see if it you can see it wrinkling can you see it wrinkling in the video I don't know if it's backing it up or not but there you go it it's all rotted away so this nose is the same thing we got rotted mold rotted center and then what's happened here and you can connect the dots the water comes down because this corner of the flashing is too short it should be three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half beyond the edge of that brick mold it's not it's cut inside so the water gets behind it comes down it rots the brick mold right here and now it's rotted the siding right here as well if you can see that siding I won't piece behind it because there's a big little garden spider right there to get me but this bottom row of siding all the way across here needs to be replaced as well so we'll get these guys turned around they'll be good as new when we're done we'll shoot you a follow-up on it Handy Andy's been doing this stuff for 24 years in Atlanta now. I'm a fourth generation contractor. It's really all I know how to do and love. My brother's a master carpenter. And we make this stuff saying it's fun. This was a personal referral from some neighbors across the street that we've worked for for years. Anything you have to do in Metro Atlanta, handyman stuff, carpentry siding, roof repairs, light plumbing, light electrical. We're a turnkey shop. Sometimes you got to wait for us. Sometimes you have to wait for us. Um, but we're worth the wait. 770 912 2829 handyandyhome.com we'll shoot you another video a progress video of this thing and then a final wrap up when we're done with it show you what it looks like take care see you at the next house bye for now